Since I've been playing around, I've been trying to make some more interesting bows. This is my usual light little bow, made for kids, but modified a little bit. 38 inches long, half inch PVC pipe. This time I reinforced the center with a 3 quarter inch pipe on the outside, hot glued on, very strong, and then I reflexed it in the center and recurved the tips in a very slight reflex here, not nearly as severe as the uh, some of the other bows that I've been making. But the whole point of this is really these bows don't perform very well, but you can draw even an extremely short half inch PVC bow nearly, nearly to 100% of its length. So if it's put under a little bit more stress, well, maybe it'll be a little bit more interesting, more powerful, perform a little better. So I'd like to find out and I'd like to string it and see what it looks like. Pretty cool. More of a graceful sort of curve to it. I like that. Not substantially stronger, probably still about 30 pounds at this uh, draw, which is depending on <laughs> how I'm trying to set it, somewhere between 26 and 28 inches. But the initial tension is way higher than for a lot of the other bows of this type, which is great. It means it's going to put a lot more energy into the, the arrow. That being how you read a force draw curve, the force at every single draw length on the way to full draw. So there it is. I think it's kind of cute. Maybe some footage shooting it now. So. This is the bow after I pulled it a few times, drew it a few times fully. I just weighed it. Currently it's 38 pounds at full draw, give or take. Could get a little bit further, so call it 40 pounds at a very nice full draw. So I thought I'd show that to you just to see how it's recovered a little bit. It's still got about four inches of reflex, but it had about seven before, so it's losing it. You'll see it taking some of the set here in the limbs. That's okay, that's really what it's all for. So, let's go ahead and uh, string her up. The strings that I make don't have the center serving quite in the center, they're offset to compensate for where you actually knock the arrow, so you can make sure I knock it the right way, or uh, put the, the string on the right way, that is. There we go. say this thing performs pretty well for such a light, small bow. I mean, we are talking something that's only 38 inches tip to tip off the go. And it's shooting 435 grain arrows with 125 grain tips. So I'm pretty darn impressed. This thing's a little uh, pocket rocket.